Hey, how's it going? It's Walsh here, sick as always. Welcome to the first episode of my Ruthless Crucible run. We are playing SSF, of course, and uh, we're 20k in queue, which, uh, you know, it's kind of sad, but not too bad, considering my internet, like, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, things have been uh, pretty questionable health-wise, but we'll talk about that more at the end of the video. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. I really appreciate you watching, and uh, I'll see you near the end. So we are starting with the uh, Armageddon brand Witch again, the Elementalist. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for Golems or Exposure yet, but uh, probably going to go for Golems because, you know, I like Golems. Some of the clips might have my buddy Surge in them. He hasn't played PoE in a little bit, a couple of leagues, and uh, he's like one of my best friends ever. So pretty happy he's playing. And uh, yeah, we got the Quick Step thing. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I might use it for later bosses, but for right now, I'm pretty sad to see it. My ping was really, really bad. Because uh, I was on Canada East, which is usually fine, but for some reasons on League Stars it's bad. So I went to switch to Washington hoping the queue wasn't bad, and uh... Oh! It was a mistake! It was a mistake! How it many? Was, it was a mistake, Surge. 45k. I'm gonna try opening Crucible Ooh. without charging it at all. Blue Boots? Movement Ooh. speed, let's go, dude! Hell yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm... Oh, my first rare, dude. My first rare. Oh my god, it's awesome. Let's go. Come on. Oh, she dropped another flask. I'll take it. Oh, and a Okay. We're happy. This was a while ago, but... Oh, a Still, rare yeah. a rare staff? Cool. Oh my god. Because fuck you, clearly. Oh! I got Valorb. 11% nice. spell damage and 20% mana. Damn. Nice. Three, baby. No problems. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a rare shield. Holy fuck. You got a nice one? Yeah. But yeah, no. One. Oh, another pair of boots? Oh my god. What? 20%? They're 10% and cold res. So I used the transmutation on a Quicksilver. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty good flats, not too bad. Got some random boots, and uh, yeah, th th they're pretty disgusting too. Fuck yeah. It's like, oh, damn, bro, you okay? <laughs> Look at hell. Oh my god, I got a unique. Hell yeah, which one? It's a fucking bow. <laughs> so I'm experimenting more with having, like, live clips, like having uh, the mic on just all the time. I don't know if I'm going to do it all the time because it makes me pretty anxious, but if I want to get better at it, I got to keep practicing at it. So uh, sorry if it's a little bit of a change of pace. If you don't like it this way, let me know, and I can definitely go back the other way. But I'm always experimenting with new stuff. I'm going to do the rest of the video the way I normally do it, just because I don't like if someone, like, if it was really polarizing to do it the other way, I don't want it to be, you know, all that way. Anyway, we got Conk Effect, which is pretty huge for me, and Divine Blessing, which, you know, doesn't really help me very much, but hey, whatever, man. Every support you get got our first map, which is Alleyways, and uh, I don't know why, but whatever the first map I drop is, I always run it first. It's just like, I don't know, tradition, man. Traditions matter. My RNG yesterday was uh, very odd. <laughs> very, very odd indeed. I got a uh, Sire of Shards. I, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I mean, I, I got one. Hey, Rare Boots. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, <laughs> those are pretty good. And then I got another pair of boots. Like, I don't understand. Why do I keep getting all these boots? I mean, Aero Nova, Aero, wow, I can't speak. Aero Nova support is not good. But hey, whatever, that's fine. That's okay. So my arm has been hurting pretty bad. You know, if you know, if, if you don't know me by now, um, I have nerve damage got from a work injury and I have it all the time, but sometimes it flares up even more and it's pretty bad. Yesterday it was getting really awful by this point. And on top of that, my wife has been sick with a bug and I don't know if I've gotten it or if I'm just dealing with something else, but uh, I was feeling pretty sick by this point. I was going to push for maps before going to bed, but I was like, nah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to kill Dodre and go to bed. And that's what I did. So I was woken up around 5 a.m. by my body forcing a uh, full evacuation. And then I went back to sleep, woke up around 7 to the same scenario happening again. And then I finally got online. I finished the Merc Lab, got all the golem stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to mule to get the other two golems. I, I was super greedy and took flame golem instead of chaos golem. I'm telling you right now, if you're doing exactly what I'm doing, get the chaos golem. I know, man. I know the damage is like... Oh, it's so fucking nice. Especially, like, it's it gets worse. Like, the damage from Flame Golem is less effective the further you are. So, like, getting it really early feels so nice. But, dude, telling you, man, Chaos Golem, Chaos Golem is pretty, pretty good. 
Uh, we took down Kitava. It took us just shy of nine hours. Uh, it's not like it's not like a great time or anything, but I'm pretty happy about that. I, I did mess around with Crucible a lot. I was trying to level up stuff. I will tell you what I would recommend if you're leveling up and you want to do Crucible, just do like 10 or 20% of a level of your item at a time. I don't think it's worth it to fully charge it. The rares are just too god dang devastating. They're too devastating, okay? Anyway, let's continue on. I completed my first map, which was pretty easy to be honest. I am still res capped on fire, but I'm not capped on cold or lightning right now. But I have 3k life, and to be honest with you, I feel, feel pretty good. My damage isn't like crazy, like if you're playing like a trap or a miner or something, you're probably looking at my damage and cringing, but I don't know, it's pretty good. Uh, the key rack thing has like, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I don't want to get into it too much, but like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Now the key rack's vault gives you items in game. And at first I was, I was pretty salty about this. I was like, this is fucking dumb. I even deleted the horizon orbs I got, which by the way, if you're wondering how you claim this shit, you have to literally go into the vault in the uh, town and like click on it and gather it. I don't know why, but it's not that bad now that now in hindsight, it's like I, I kind of like it now to think when now that I think about it, because it's a way to like give you re specific rewards at certain points in the game. Like it's no real different than getting a quest reward. You know what I mean? Like it's the same thing, except now like this is a new way they can give you certain rewards at certain times. And I kind of like it. I kind of wish I wasn't such a salty little bitch about it in the beginning. Because I could have used those Horizon Orbs. At first, I was like, oh my god, more free shit? What the fuck? But no, I, I, I actually do like it. I think it's a cool idea. I'm really glad, and I'm kind of proud of GGG for, like, branching out. And really trying new ways to, like, interact with us as players. And, like, how we progress. I don't know, man. I don't want to, like, take too much of the video talking about it. But I like it. I think it's a good idea. I really do. So Kirak bullied me, and the first, the only tier one map I didn't have was Colonnade. So I was like, "Oh, I'll grab that," and uh, it had Reflect because Kirak is a bully. We got another map completed. We are working on going towards Alva, and then we're gonna go straight up the middle of the tree. Um, if you go on my Discord, I actually have my uh, starting tree. What I'm gonna be doing for my Atlas, if you are interested. Holy fuck. Uh. Okay, that's. That's Ignite Prolif. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, we, you know, still farming some alleyways, and we hit level 70. I'm going to be honest, man. I'm having a good time. I'm having a pretty good time. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to count con uh, Conk Effect for my rule of, like, whatever two support gems I get is what I need to make a build out of my first one. I don't really think so, because I feel like Conk Effect is one of those weird utility ones. I don't know. Though. We'll see. I might be being picky. Ignite Prolif definitely counts for one. 100%. Like, without a doubt. I invested, like, all of my transmutations into getting uh, some more tier 1 maps, because I'm farming a bunch of those. And I bought a rare one, a rare unID'd one, because I was like, hell yeah. And yeah. <laughs> it was Reflect. <laughs> Kirak, why are you such an asshole, Kirak? Hey, if you made this far in the video, I just want to say thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. By the way, I, I won a Cloud Pet from that uh, Ruthless Gold event. So, okay. Uh, anyway... I am level 70, 29% right now. I have okay resistances. They're not bad. They're not great. Definitely not great. <laughs> I need to get that lightning up. My health is pretty nice. Um, and for, as far as currency goes, we're actually doing okay, to be honest. Haven't gotten alchemy yet. I'm almost there. I just need one more shard. My maps are in a weird place right now. Dude, that colonnade, man. That colonnade screwed me up so bad. I will say that key rack is way cheaper now, which I really do appreciate. Uh, we got a couple support gems here. I still haven't used this yet. I don't know, man. I have, I have, I have such a mixed feelings about that. I think it's good. I think it's going to make stuff like Maven way more viable. But, uh, yeah, we're on a three link right now. Oh, a two link. Because, like, honestly, Conk Effect on Armor Brand kind of kind of defeats the purpose of what Armor Brand is doing. But I, I'm pretty happy with where we are right now. It definitely could be better. But our rarity is already at 62%. Granted, I'm giving up. Like, I have a helmet that could give me more health and some lightning res, but I just want to get some rarity. But the main thing I need to upgrade is this piece of shit. Like, look at this thing, man. This would solve all my problems. I'd rather have, like, rarity on other stuff and just get rid of this. My rings also have rarity because I'm greedy. And, yeah. Okay, actually, maybe the belt's the best. Bro, I didn't realize my belt was just a blue item. Maybe that's the problem. I have not found an upgrade for this shield or this scepter yet. And, unfortunately, the level 3 does... 
basically nothing. Basically nothing. But I do have some good leveling gear for other characters. I'm probably going to mule right now after I uh, continue with another evacuation session. You're fast. Why are you so fast? Um, I'm going to go mule, get chaos, golem, and whatnot. I, oh, another thing. You get a third uncarved gemstone in Act 10 now. So when you're planning, remember, you get three now, not one. So that's pretty dope. Anyway, I'm really sick. I'm probably going to go take a nap. I probably won't be as far tomorrow as I would like to be. I'm, I'm, I'm in a rough place, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not doing too good. But I really want to know how you guys are doing in Ruthless. What do you think of Crucible so far? I know we don't really have much experience with it yet. But so far, I think it's going to be a really fun league. Pretty hyped for this, to be honest with you. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Please give me some feedback, if you don't mind, about whether you would like to see more, like, just the live, normal talking. Or if you'd rather just have me, like dictating over it just explaining what's been going on thank you for watching i really do appreciate it and uh i'll see you tomorrow